The dream of every teacher that tries to teach ABS to their students is to take them on a road test and change the road conditions, make it slippery, make it drive pavement, have the students drive, have them feel how ABS engages, how it reacts. And unless your school had a private racetrack, which it probably doesn't, it wasn't really that feasible. But now it is. With the Consolab EM122-1 ABS trainer, you can take your students on a road test. They can feel how ABS engages. They can see live what happens to those individual wheels as the wheel speeds changes and as the hydraulics react. So let's see what we can do with it. Let's fire this up. As we're coming up to speed, these lights start flashing quicker. We could hear the pump just kicked on. And with the switches in the normal position, I press the brakes, nothing happens. Now, if I select a specific wheel and then hit lockup, we can engage the ABS. We have the complete hydraulic system from the car, from the master cylinder, the pedal, to the hydraulic control unit, ABS pump. Uh, we have all the individual lines. We have pressure gauges throughout the system, each to the rear brake drums, to the front brake discs, calipers, wheel cylinders, the emergency brake down here with the original cables. So we have a fully functional brake system so we can use that for teaching foundation brakes. We add to that the effect that we have all of the electrical systems. So we've got the data link connector where we can connect the scan tool. We've got access to all the data going through the control area network. We have access to the sensors. We have a breakout box and the, on the dash where we can go and pin it out with an oscilloscope. So we really have everything necessary for teaching the complete system. Here we have the fault box where the instructor can go in and insert six different faults for sensors, communication, uh, and various different inputs and outputs. Here we've got the scan tool connected and we can see the individual wheel speeds. And then by selecting different road conditions and lockup, we can see the speeds drop out of individual wheels. So when we hit the lockup switch, those front wheels are dropping down to zero as if we skidded onto a surface that was very slippery. Here we have the oscilloscope hooked up to one of the wheel speed sensors and we're going to lock up that wheel. So we can see the immediate effect on the signal. Now, oftentimes we'll have questions of, hey, are the wheels going to turn? Are the brake discs and drums going to turn when you guys start this thing up? And no, of course not. That would be unsafe. And this is a very safe product. This is something that you can let your students work on and not have to have any worries. What we're doing for the signals is we're generating uh, signals and they are exactly the same if we go to scope them out with the oscilloscope, they're the same as they are in real life. We're using a signal generator to generate the different wheel speed sensor signals. Now, if you look at the size of this product, it'll fit through any door, can fit through an elevator. The infrastructure requirements are very little because all you need is a regular wall outlet. To find out more about our products, please visit constlab.com uh, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.